Hello everyone and welcome to Portal. So a little bit of background on Portal uh, in case you hadn't heard of it. Uh, it runs off of the same engine as Half-Life 2 and it was a game that Valve made um, uh, and honestly I don't know all of the reasons behind uh, why they made it but one of the things that came about from it was uh, it was an experiment in what you could actually do with the physics engine that they created. So. In the game, you are essentially a nameless, uh, I would say you're a faceless, but you do, you do actually have a face, um, you're, but you're a nameless uh, individual who has been recruited for testing by Aperture Science, which is uh, the, uh, uh, what was the word they used, the, uh, a peer of Black Mesa uh, during, um, back when back Black Mesa was still performing exper experiments and things of that nature. Uh, before the whole uh, resonance cascade and all that stuff happened, uh, but Aperture Science, uh, they were they were doing some of the same type of research, uh, including portal research, which uh, is similar to what Black Mesa was doing, which started the whole the whole Half Life mess. Uh, but anyway, Aperture Science, of course, uh, you heard in Half Life Two, uh, Episode Two, which I just finished playing, they had the Borealis uh, ship, which mysteriously vanished and then uh, Judith Mossman actually found it and took uh, you know video of it and everything so anyway uh, but all that aside that doesn't really have a lot to do with what Portal actually is. Portal is com is separate from all of that. It takes place in the same universe as Half-Life 2 but it's not really affected by it. So anyway we're gonna go ahead and start a new game and this is this is a puzzle game so it's different from uh, the other stuff that Valve had, had created up to, up at this point, or up till this point. So you basically start out in your little detention cell or whatever with no idea of what's going on. Your business is appreciated. Your business is appreciated. Hello, Eventually. and there you go. again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from. Uh, no. <laughs> exactly. So, like I said, you are not you're not quite uh, faceless. You can actually see your face. Um, actually, well, you're not exactly nameless either. If you dig through the resource files. Uh, you can find Chell, the word Chell, C-H-E-L-L, assigned to a lot of the, um, like the textures, and uh, I think it was the textures, maybe the model files too, that create your character. So people have, around the internet, have just nicknamed her Chell, even though she's never actually given a, a uh, specific name in the game. Hello there. So, like I said, you are a test subject. Uh, whether you whether you are volunteered or voluntold for to, for these tests is uncertain. Um, and you'll notice there are these observation windows, which allow people to observe you while you're performing the tests. But uh, there's no one in them, uh, and there there never does seem to be anyone in them, which is kind of odd. But regardless. We'll press on. Hello there. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This yes. aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Like that. Alright, well. Fortunately, I'm authorized, so I, I don't get vaporized when I go through it. So like I said, this game was very much an experiment by Valve, but it actually... Um, 
It actually turned out to be a very uh, successful one. Worked out very well for them, actually. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Very well. I shall do that. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. <laughs> oh, those uh those little radios that you see everywhere, they are actually part of a uh, well, it it was it was it, it was a advertisement, I suppose. Uh is the best way of putting it. Um but they're they were built into the game as an advertisement for the upcoming Portal 2 when that was a thing and it was starting to come out or, or it was getting ready to come out. I'm pretty sure that's all they were advertising. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was just Portal 2. You're doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. No. Oh. I'm sure that's fine. Oh, I actually wanted to go through there. I was waiting for it to, to shoot something different. Come at me, bro. There we go. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Great. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't. I didn't quite catch that last part, but so here is is what you're supposed to do with the radios. If you bring them to a certain location uh, within each section that you find one, you get little messages like this. And people online like took these and decoded them and figured out what they meant. Um, I don't know if they figured out all of them or just most of them, but. Um, yeah, essentially it was a lot of, it was like background story and stuff, but most of, m m bleh, most of it pretty much just pointed towards Portal 2. There's also an interesting thing, if you take this and pass it through an emancipation grid, usually, let's see, is there a... To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Yeah, yeah. So if you take, whoa, if you take something back up and pass it through the emancipation grid, it just silently disappears. Not the radius. You take those things through. You get that, which is freaking creepy and chilling uh, it's yeah it's, it's it's weird I don't know if there was ever any anything discovered that that meant if that was part of Valve's thing that they were doing or if it was just something creepy I don't know but uh, yeah it, 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 the first time I did that and I heard that I was like oh okay let's not do that again Whew. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. <laughs> For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. 
Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. <laughs> Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. You notice each time she says that, she gets a little sterner about it. It's pretty funny. Is there another one? Yeah, there is. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. And then she just kind of gives up. Oh, thank you. I, uh, I am trying. I'm trying very hard. And getting so far. But in the end... It actually matters quite a lot, to be honest. <laughs> Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Oh, but no, I'm scarred. I don't want to be on my own. I need you. I need your assistance, my robot friend. How will I know what to do if you're not there to tell me what to do? Wait, I thought you said you weren't going to monitor this chamber. <laughs> You're still following me. And there's still an observation room, but still no one in it. Yoink. Eh. Oh well. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good <laughs> job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Notice she never really got to one. It's like, we'll stop enhancing the truth, baby. I know. It, those sounds must mean something because they're different too. It's, it doesn't always play the same sound when you uh, emancipate those radios. So there must be some kind of meaning behind it. While safety is one of many instrument center goals, the aperture unbelievable. You subject name here must be the pride of subject bomb town here. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't let uh didn't let her finish talking there. But uh she was just doing going through some drivel about the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet and how it's uh, dangerous and stuff. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate a high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science unstationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Unstationary scaffold. Uh, 
so slow. Please know that we Great. have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Ah. Ah, no, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Can I get it? Yeah. Oh, no, radio. Oh, I miss it, the, the radio. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yeah, sure it is. Because that stuff doesn't sound at all like radioactive waste. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Oh well. If you if you say it's impossible, I mean, you know, I might well so just give up right now. And, yeah. Oh no. Where'd he go? The enrichment oh, center so apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. I mean, are you sure it's broken? Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Ah, I'm walking through the wall. Nah, I totally didn't just go through the door there. Never figured out, or I never um, understood why that that one elevator like doesn't show up until you actually get there. Hello again. Hello. Hello. Right then. <laughs> You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. I mean, that's about as layman's terms as you can get it, so... She's not wrong. Oops. 
the Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. Oh, In no. dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. <laughs> So, so you're always going to provide a uh, a safe testing environment. Dang it! So you're always going to provide a safe testing environment, except when you don't. Ah, that really instills a lot of confidence. Ah. Music kicking in. Something's about to happen. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. It's part of an optional test protocol. We are oh. pleased to present an amazing ah. fact. Dang it. The device is now more valuable than the organ and combined income of everyone in Project Phone Call. Oops. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in Subject Phone Town here. <laughs> the organs and combined incomes. Oh dear. Oh no no no. You stinker. I thought I had to. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call here. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just wait for the platform. I'm not going to try to rush it. This is a nice little bit of music, though. Very bubbly and happy. We are cruising through this. We're on 12 and 19 already. Funny how you can't, you can't place portals on moving platforms. Which is kind of interesting. I think that's got to be pretty disorienting because you go from one like face forward face down orientation like straight into a fifth that's got to be like super disorienting 
for your brain. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. But not with water. <laughs> the usual thing that quenches thirst. No, no. We don't do water here. Ah! Test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Oh, you'll miss me. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. I'm touched. Not sure I can say the same about you, but well, the sentiment is appreciated. Shouldn't you have informed me of any of that stuff before I picked up the device? Oh. Assuming we need the Oh, no, no, no. Dang it. I thought those stopped moving Very after you. Very good. A complimentary won. victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. Victory lift. Yeah, I thought these, like, locked themselves in the up, upward... Up... The upward position when you, uh, completed that test. But they do not. Victory! <laughs> I 
All right. The Sorry. amusement center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Grief counseling. <laughs> all right. So we are on test 15 and 19, and I am out of time. So I will stop here. And we'll pick it up next time. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, bye.